I woke up with a horrible pain in my breast. It never occurred to me that it could be cancer. I mean, I was only 36. I didn't even know that that could happen. My mother was really sick and I was in a hospital for two months with her and uh, it might have been hurting, but I was in pain all the time because I was sleeping and sitting in a chair at the hospital or in a cot. She was in the last stages of pancreatic cancer. It was very hard emotionally. My husband and I were trying to freeze embryos in order to have children. Um, I started feeling a very sharp pain. I remember telling my husband, uh, oh, we might not need to freeze embryos because I think I'm pregnant because my breast hurts a lot. And everything that I read online said that if it's painful, it's not breast cancer. So I was like, okay, so maybe it is nothing. I, I'll wait until I see the fertility specialist. It's silly, obviously it's a cyst. Why am I like worrying about this? She said, it's squishy and um, it's probably a cyst. But I'll send you in for a mammogram. I went in for the sonogram and the girl who was doing the sonogram, I could see her face sort of change and um, the radiologist comes in. She repeats everything and she says, uh, do you want to talk in here? Or do you want to come into my office? And then I, I just started crying because I knew no one tells you, let's go into my office to give you good, like good news. And she never used the word cancer. She never, she just said, what you have in there, you need to get checked. And the day of the biopsy, I go in and I'm like completely convinced it's going to be okay. I go with my husband. I had to wait two days to get the results. And when she called me, um, I picked up the phone and I, and she said, I'm sorry to, I'm sorry to say that um, it's come back as a malignant tumor. So you have breast cancer. I heard her say those words. And I remember thinking, it's going to be okay. This is not the time to cry. Now it's the time to like work on fixing whatever's wrong. It looks like it's 1.6 centimeters right now. So not so bad. And that's it. I'll keep you guys updated. It's just like this strength came over me. I could feel that my mother was taking care of me and I could feel she was there for me and like that strength came from her. And I had seen her battling cancer and I never saw her cry and I never saw her complain. And I think I just owed her to her, like to be the same way. My type of cancer, they're stage one. You have the option to do chemo if your doctor thinks that you will benefit from it. She says, um, because of your age, I am still recommending chemotherapy. I was, I was so upset. <laughs> After chemo, this is all I will ever have. Like, how many, however many embryos come out of the cycle, this is all I'll ever get. In the end, we got seven embryos and they're frozen. A week after that, I started chemotherapy. For those hours I was sitting there, receiving the chemo, I couldn't run away from cancer. I couldn't forget that I was sick. There was no way I could not worry about the future or know if there was a future. I started coming to meetups in um, 540. And I started meeting girls that had already finished their own chemotherapies that were two months out, two years out, five years out. And I remember thinking, they look so normal. And that was so important to me, just seeing other girls and realizing that this is just a short period of time in our lives, that, it's, that I wasn't always going to be feeling that way, that I would be okay again. The 540 was like, amazing for that during that time i made some great friends my last chemo they showed up with like this big card that said congratulations valerie on your last chemo and those hours were like so hard for me just sitting there and just these girls that i barely knew they took time out of like their lives i remember thinking this has been such a horrible experience in general but if i had just one good thing it has been 540. This going forward is something that's going to help me not put my story out there, but also have other women see that, that they'll be okay. There's beauty even in the worst moments of your life.